All right, welcome to Zilla Garage. I can't believe that this is actually my shop now. Um, but before I start talking, I wanna give huge thanks to Xenon, Junior, Aaron, Justin, and Sam. They were all a huge help yesterday and we we're just hanging out having a good time. We all ate here, watched some TV. There's a TV behind the camera. So yeah, huge thanks to them. And um, honestly, huge thanks to everybody that's watching and has been following along because some of you know this has been a dream of mine for such a long time and the mclaren too i forgot to even mention the mclaren too i officially revealed it i've been posting like random stuff but i didn't really want to post too much about it until the shop is done and just start building my cars because as you guys know that 13 has been sitting since like 2016. rx7 i bought it last year and i haven't touched it the s14 i've actually touched it a lot and had fun with it but I'm gonna do some stuff, I'll talk about that later. But let me give you guys a quick tour of the shop. All right, so here we have my SDK. I'm sure most of you know this car. If you don't, it's 2005 AP2, um, stock body. I think 30 something thousand miles on it right now. This is my FDR X7. I'll talk about that another time, I don't know when. Um, this is my S13 hatch with a crazy roll cage by uh, my buddy Isaiah. It's all rusted, so I'm gonna have to sand that before I paint it. This is my S14, has T's in the front, Yankees in the rear. And then my banner's all faded out. Oh yeah, so this is where I yanked the mirror. Well, I don't know if I talked about that. So when we were jump-starting this car, let me explain what happened. So as we were jump-starting this car, I locked the keys in the car and me and Xenon looked at each other and I was like, bro, I fucked up and we try to get the sunroof open and it only pops open about like this much and my hands are skinny but not that skinny so i couldn't get them in there so i was like you know what i'm gonna just yank the mirrors off because they're cheap as hell so i yanked the mirrors off poked the little trim in and then i got like a little hanger in there and unlocked the door but yeah what a crazy story um this car is pretty beat i've taken it to the track once or twice and it didn't like it um, I'm gonna redo the whole car. I had bought it with intentions to repaint it and build it into my style. So that's that. Um, over there we have, I think all those boxes in the bottom are the rotary stuff. We have the TEs for the McLaren. We have the Inkies, cause I bought it full set. Those are the ones that are in the rear of the 14. And then the S2K driver's seat or passenger seat. Oh yeah, driver's seat. I think there's like some random stuff in that box. That's an intake manifold, some wheel dollies, and just an exhaust manifold, just random shit everywhere. Over here we have, you know, Godzilla poster. And then this is gonna be my metal working area. So I have my belt sander, uh, drill press, grinder over there. It's all pretty cheap stuff, a vice. And then my toolbox that I've had for years. And then I bought this recently, a Blue Point service cart. And then shout out to Kamikaze Girls for these posters. These things are amazing. What else do we have? Oh, the lift. This is a Ben Pack GP, or wait, LC GP-7. Oh no, GP7-LC, sorry. So the issue with the lift being in here was the ceilings. The ceilings are kind of low, so I had to get this lift. It doesn't lift up crazy high, but it lifts up enough just to go under the car. I think I'm gonna have to swatch because I'm like six feet tall, but you know, Godzilla poster. I think I already mentioned that. Um, over here we have the fridge, which is probably gonna be full of alcohol. I swear I'm not an alcoholic. Um, some more S chassis stuff. I love S chassis stuff, so damn, is it gonna focus? So that's a. Uh, S15, S13 coupe, S13 hatch, S14, and then that's an SR20 diagram. And then, you know, my Zilla Garage neon banner. Over here, I have a S chassis poster or an ad, I guess, an older ad. And I still need to move all that stuff out. I'll get to that later. And we're actually installing more lighting the electrician was here earlier today, just testing everything out. We're gonna have to lift them up just a tad, they're too low. 
But yeah, this is a shop. Um, when everything's more organized, I'll get more into depth. Oh yeah, as I was saying, when everything's fully organized and cleaned, I'll get more into depth with what all the drawers have and all that. But for now, that's just a quick run through of the shop. And uh, make sure to subscribe because there's gonna be a lot of interesting stuff going on with all the cars and like my friends hanging out here. And I'm actually gonna finish my cars now because I've been putting them on basically the back burner for the longest. And now that I have the shop, I kind of have to finish some cars and let them go. Oh yeah, and uh, I bought another car. So let me show you guys that.